Okay, thank you for joining me. This is my Instructional Leadership 510 Action Research Proposal. Um, I have named it Improving Math Foundational Skills for Third Graders. So first we're gonna start out with just um, some quick demographics of, of Diarmaville. Um, I do wanna note that this data was pulled in September um, of this year, 2024. We are one of three elementary schools within the Oxford City School Systems. We are a Title I school with over 60% uh, free and reduced lunch. And there you have a makeup of um, our different uh, races. There are a total of 440, 465 excuse me, students at the school, with 248 being male and 217 being female. As it relates to third grade, there are a total of 84 students split among five teachers. Uh, the math data for entering third grade students shows a significant lack of foundational math skills. These, uh, daily, these students are performing lower or on current math skills being taught and this lack of having a strong mathematical foundation um, causes both teachers and students uh, frustration. So therefore, my problem of practice is to address third grade students scoring not on grade level in the skill area of number and operations in base 10 in iReady Math. This study will explore how third grade reading teachers can support students in developing their number sense foundational skills to become better problem solvers um, and thinkers. Um, number sense is defined as a person's overall understanding of numbers and their adaptability when using the operations to make mathematical decisions. It is my hypothesis that implementing number sense strategies and activities into the daily reading routine will decrease the number of students scoring not on grade level on the iReady Math Diagnostic at the spring benchmark. Through the implementation, third grade students and teacher will have a better understanding of the importance of number sense foundational skills. Third grade reading teachers will have a toolbox of strategies from which to pull from to help the students they encounter achieve higher mathematical success. Um, here you see some working definitions. These are just some um, some word meanings that came up throughout um, my proposal as well as in some of the current research. So ACAP, of course, is the Alabama Comprehensive Exam, um, which is a computer-based uh, criterion reference summative assessment designed to measure student progress on the Alabama course of study uh, standards. It is given to students in grades two through eight in the spring and it compromises the content areas of English language arts, math, and science. Uh, CIP, Continuous Improvement Plan. Uh, this plan is developed with the end in mind and the building of the plan involves all stakeholders. Uh, iReady is a research-based computer program. It is an online learning and assessment program in both reading and math utilized by the Oxford City Schools District as a means of assessing student needs and growth in critical skill areas and a diagnostic is given at three times a year, fall, winter, spring. Number sense, uh, reasoning with numbers. Um, also, an under, to understand what numbers mean and to perform mental mathematics. RTI, respond to intervention, a term used to describe the systematic employment of individualized and or target academic instruction to students. And last but not least is tier three, which simply is a target instruction um, that students receive. It is the most intense level of support and is intended for those students who are not benefiting from tier one or tier two interventions and instruction. Whoa, that skipped pretty far. Let's go back. Sorry, skipped ahead too far. All right, so in um, looking at um, literature for this action proposal, I started with thinking about the effects of COVID-19 and how it had on the educational system. 
Uh, considering the COVID-19 pandemic, students' mathematical achievement has been a concern for many stakeholders in education. During this time, the achievement gap grew deeper and wider among students. Post-pandemic, the achievement declines for third through fifth graders were larger in magnitude than those for older students. Um, since math is typically taught in the classroom, it was challenging for parents and teachers to use the remote platforms um, to engage in effective teaching practices uh, that offer the right kind of support. Lower grade students were no longer able to manipulate with numbers in a tangible and concrete way in the classroom. So with that being said, um, when I was looking for the literature um, to go along with the proposal, um, I had the effects of COVID in mind. Um, so the literature I grouped into three categories, which are the perception of number sense, uh, number sense and academic achievement and the promotion of number sense. When thinking about the perception of number sense, that literature was all about um, pre-service teachers' perceptions as well as veteran teachers' perceptions of the concept of number sense. Uh, number sense and academic achievement, um, that literature, uh, in that literature, it was found that students with number sense are more frequently um, are more frequently recognized by their comfort level with numbers and their ability to spot ar arithmetic faults. Um, the literature also suggested that individuals have a fundamental understanding of numbers, but the capacity to have good number sense stems from meaningful mathematical experiences. And last but not least in that category was the promotion of number sense. Um, that one just basically focused on how should um, number sense uh, those foundational skills, how should they progress? So who will participate in the study is basically our current third grade students and our third grade reading teachers. So here is the proposed action plan. Um, the data indicates a concerning downward trend in the performance of third grade students from the end of the 2023 school year to the conclusion of the 2024 school year, so basically when they were in second grade. This trend highlights a significant issue in the development of critical foundation skills in mathematics known as number sense. Developing a strong number sense in students is paramount as it serves as the cornerstone, excuse me while I get this light to come back on, sorry about that. Um, a solid grasp of number sense allows students to understand relationships between numbers, recognizing patterns, and making informed estimates, all of which are vital skills in mathematics. Unfortunately, the data suggests that many of these third grade students did not enter um, into the grade with having achieved proficiency in number sense. Uh, without a firm foundation in number sense, students may struggle to grasp more advanced concepts which can hinder their overall academic progress and confidence um, in mathematics. So the first step in the proposed action plan beginning in uh, January running through March is that third grade reading teachers will incorporate number sense strategies into their reading day with all students. Um, this can take the form of many different um, ways. It could be morning work with an exit slip. Um, it can take place in your wrap up or your review. Um, it can be implemented in into a station or just the last few minutes um, that you are with um, a small group. Beginning January through March 23rd, um, 2025, excuse me, uh, the teachers will implement key number sense skills that include working with place value within a thousand adding and subtracting with 100, mental computations, skip counting patterns up to 10, and part to whole relationships. Each skill will be taught and or reviewed um, in a two week increment, two weeks of skip counting, two weeks of place value, et cetera. The teachers will work collaboratively to build the listed number of skills um, into their weekly reading morning and afternoon class um, routines. Continuing on with 
the other steps in the proposed action plan. Step number two, what do we do with what we have collected? All collected evidence, class to discussion, notes, exit slips, work samples, etc., will be shared during grade level collaboration uh, sessions on Wednesdays. Um, and these discussions will kind of drive the aspect, the time aspect when we are delivering each of these skills um, to the students or to the selected students. Uh, reading teachers will attend two math collaborative planning sessions a month from January 2025 to March 2025 to gain insights on any student struggling with identified number sense. The reading teacher will take that knowledge and provide one-on-one -on -one discourse with the students either the next day or within the same week after the student's small group uh, reading time or any other um, proper time to have those conversations. All right, so how will we collect the data and or what will we do with the data? Um, the data for this research will be collected using the iReady teacher portal. Through this portal, the teacher can access all third grade students' progress um, to, being, to being on grade level in the identified uh, number and operations and base, base 10 skill area. The data will also be collected, shared, and analyzed from the student's monthly progress monitoring under the math computational fluency test. On track students, students should score a score of 14 to be proficient by the end of the year. The data from this performance measure will be tallied to show how many students are not at the end of the year goal. So we will take that data from the iReady and also that data from Ames Web. Uh, the pretest data will come from their diagnostic um, this fall 2024, their December, um, specifically pulling out um, the number of students that did not score on grade level or, or above in the area of number operations in base 10. So then the data analysis from fall to spring, um, the goal in mind is to increase the number of third grade students scoring on grade level mid or above in number and operations in base 10. All right, so the importance of this proposed action research. By consistently integrating these number sense strategies into their reading routines, teachers can significantly enhance student understanding and proficiency in mathematics. This consistent practice not only reinforces the strategies learned, but also leads to improved student achievement over time. As students become more familiar with these strategies, their confidence and ability to tackle mathematical concepts will grow ultimately resulting in a deeper comprehension and better performance in their overall academic pursuits. So fostering a continuous application of foundational mathematical skills needed for higher mathematical learning, building student confidence, and most importantly, the students will gain confidence in knowing that all teachers are invested in their success and are ready to help them in mastering any challenging academic skill, regardless of the subject that they teach. So, if the study's outcomes are validated, it is anticipated that at least 50% of third grade students will demonstrate improvement in the mathematical domain of numbering operations in base 10. Next, is, next includes all the references um, to all of the literature and any other um, piece of data that I used um, during this action proposal. And then last but not least, does anyone have any questions? Okay. So if we don't have any questions, this will be recorded um, and you can get to this at any time. Um, or if you would like to meet with me to get further explanation about anything, I will be more than happy to. Thank you all for joining me today.